Super Anti Spyware Portable, a great tool for a USB stick to use on infected machines. Now this works on Windows 98, ME, 2000, XP, Vista, and Windows 7. Simply click to download it and select your location. Now I will save the file to my USB stick. And it will also download with a different name to Super Anti Spyware, as you can see in this instance. Now this is going on to my USB stick and it will take just a few minutes and you can see this is the second one I've downloaded it's come down at 790.e I have installed a lot of malware and as you can see here there's dlll.exe, hc0, htydea uh, there's a run dll which is using an awful lot of resources 73% CPU and 100% CPU total so everything's going to be a little bit slow on this one today for the time being anyway but this is a great tool to download you know that you can see from the two versions I've downloaded that they have different file names and this confuses the malware which is looking for super anti spyware or malware bytes and similar antivirus and anti malware programs and this works a treat if you have an infected machine, you just plug it in. Uh, the updates included, and here you can see I'm getting the pop-up critical update antivirus plus. Uh, there's also security tool, and the processes that are running are interfering with my screen recorder. But here's the Super Anti Spyware application. Just double-click it to run. Click run, and in a few seconds you get to the small interface open like any moment now and there you go click here to start and that's it you get the main interface that will open up and as you can see I've got security tool and antivirus plus there select your language click OK and the main user interface will then open there's no need to update just click scan your computer now I would do a complete scan and here we go, I'm still getting the pop-ups from Antivirus Plus, uh, which is inevitable. And I'm going to perform a complete scan, because I've installed quite a bit of rubbish, and see how it performs. And this will take a little while. Well, an hour and 20 minutes is near us, 98 threats detected. OK, let's find root kits, Trojan agents, droppers and all sorts. So I'll remove those. I'll have to reboot to finish the removal process. So I will do that in just a moment when the program finishes. Do a simple reboot, come back and we'll see what's happening. It's all good fun playing with this stuff, you know. You need to be patient. As you can see, it's cleaned restore points, and there's the reboot notification. So I'll reboot and come back. Okay, I've come back, I've opened up a browser, and I'm going to type in mbam and go to malware bytes. There's malware bytes. Cannot display the web page. So I'll close that. I do have on my desktop tdss killer, which is a zip file which I unzipped. Uh, if you have this, drag the TDSS killer out of the folder onto the desktop and run it from your desktop. Just double click it and run. And as you can see, your tappy.sys is infected by TDSS rootkit and this will be cured on reboot. So I will press Y, reboot, come back again. And it's a long process, you're going through all these reboots. So I've come back, I've started malware bytes and Initially it's found three infected objects. Uh, this is just a quick scan uh, to see what it does find. And again at the end of it there will be a reboot needed yet again. So we will wait and see. Now this has found 34 objects. And again it's found rootkit agents, DNS changes, loads of nasty bits and pieces. So I need to remove all those and reboot. And you have to bear in mind that these programs all work differently. 
and there's no one program that does the whole lot. And it's much easier to create an image and restore from a clean image than it is to go through the process of using this program reboot, use that program reboot, and use another program and reboot. If you want more information on the download links, check out my blog, Free PC Security, and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.